welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle ATL by Night. Thank you so much for joining us on what I'm sure will be quite the chronicle. To get started, let's meet our vampires. I am Brittany Trambauer Smith, and I play Melisanda. Hi, I'm Tyler Sutherland, and I play Aaron. I'm Miss Leona Rohr, and I play Thomasina Elena Cuesta. Zachary Vado, and I play Anton Krolopusov. Dustin Fletcher will be joining us at a dramatically appropriate moment. So now that we've got introductions out of the way, what do you say we tell a vampire story? City of the South, home of Coca-Cola, Parsifal Jackson Airport, CNN, and film studios, old and new. A city with a tumultuous past that many of its population will never know of. A city beneath the streets, in every darkened corner, and even sometimes right in front of the people. Vampires are quietly controlling every aspect. Atlanta was once a prosperous territory of the Camarilla, a politically inclined group of kindred. Their word for vampires. And when the final nights came for Atlanta, the city barely survived. Between the blood curse that nearly wiped the population out and the rule of the wild animalistic organization, the Sabbat, the population of the city's kindred has been in dispute for some time. Many freshly turned kindred have never known who sired them, what clan their bloodline comes from, or what support system exists for them. The ones that have remained have done all they could to rebuild. Under the guise of a new leader, which the Camarilla call a prince, Atlanta began to see a boom in its film industry. A new council of primogen were formed, those taking charge of their clans to guide them out of the devastation caused by the final nights. And those willing to take this daunting task to also find the remaining kindred of the city and bring them into the fold. They're given the title of primogen, which is typically reserved for elders, but in this age, it simply means those willing to lead. Even the Gangrel and Bruja clans, typically not big fans of the Camarilla, have set aside their differences and joined. Not exactly one big happy family, but for this new Camarilla, it's kindred first and city second. The primogen have built their own coteries, or groups of specific kindred, tasked with varying goals of protecting the city and attempting to find the lost kindred and bring them in and protecting the masquerade, which is the rules that govern vampire society to keep it hidden and safe. But the second inquisition is the new looming threat. The government is aware of the existence of kindred and have divisions of the FBI specifically tasked with eradicating what they call blanks. And kindred of Atlanta have had to become more clever and more aggressive to protect their city. Our story begins in underground Atlanta, formerly a shopping mall that was quite popular, but has faded over time in popularity and fell in disrepair. Now, it's a construction site. The city has decided to renew it and attempt to bring it to a new age of glory. A few tenants have moved in, some nightclubs, some shops, and one very special group. Melisande, you receive a text. It's from Falcon. She says, 
you know that one musician, the one that worked on the Avengers movie, it was like Kenny or something? I think they're going to play the Masquerade soon. Do you want me to get us tickets? And you know that in these times, even the Camarilla cannot fully reject technology. Some cities with older Camarilla princes have kept technology forbidden. However, in Atlanta, they've learned to talk in code, texting as best friends would, but with choice words laced in to convey the message. Of course I want in. <laughs> Can you get us tickets tonight? Question mark? Text message comes back almost immediately. She says, yeah, come on down. I think I can get it, but I'm going to need your credit card. <laughs> I will call you with that information. All right, so are you going to head down to the Falcon? Of course. Okay. So walking through the streets of Atlanta, it's brisk January. It's not as cold until the wind blows. And then the air cuts straight through whatever jacket you've decided to wear. But you make your way down to underground. And when you arrive, you get to your regular service entrance and go down to the lower levels, down to the area formerly known as Kenny's Alley. Sitting atop some bags of construction materials, poised in slackish fashion, is Falcon, the primogen of the Bruja. Much to her chagrin, she is waiting. She's medium height, dark hair tied in a high ponytail and bangs swooping across the front. Her tank top shows off her myriad of tattoos and a small gold star of David hangs from her necklace. Her baggy pants are tucked into her biker boots and around her are the four women that you recognize as her coterie, Eagle, Hawk, Vulture, and Owl. And you know them quite well. You see one, maybe two, but Never all four together, and not all with Falcon at the same time. Ladies? Hey, sorry to call you on such short notice. You know, I am always available to help. Good, because um, we're really going to need your help on this one. This, you know what, we're just going to call this my Nick Fury moment, because uh, we have a problem. Uh, it's Tilly. The Malkavian primogen. Uh, I found a Malkavian that, who had, uh, shall we say, Michigas? Uh, they drank a human to death and oh. were in an intense panic about what they needed to do. So I cleaned it up, but this is really Tilly's domain to handle. Um, so I tried texting her. I got nothing. I have tried contacting her for a few days and nothing. She always text me back immediately. So I reached out to some other Malkavians. They haven't heard from her either. And I need my, my little new Avenger squad. And I need you to go find her because she doesn't just disappear. Um, so you're really the best I got with your access to news. And I'm going to need you to grab a few other people. But first, um, I've got someone for you. He's one of my guys. Um, hey, Cyrus, if you could, if you could come here, please. Yeah, come here, dear. Thank you. This is Cyrus. He is, uh, let's just call him the best in the biz. If you run into any trouble, I'm sure he can be more than equipped. <laughs> to handle it. So, uh, I'll just, uh, send you a text. Um, just put in a character from the Avengers so I know that you got someone. Understood. I will do my best and I will do it as quickly as I can. And quietly, as usual. Wonderful. Cyrus is going to be, uh, pretty much connected to your hip from here on out until you find Tilly. Excellent. Cyrus, it's a pleasure to meet you. He's young. Yeah. He doesn't he doesn't really talk a lot. You'll get used to it. But uh okay, so you guys can be on your way. Uh shall we? After you. Uh my vehicle or yours. Yours is fine. Okay. I'll follow you. So we're gonna take two vehicles? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, I'll meet you in the parking deck. Sure. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. And Falcon walks back into the shadows with the rest of her coven. And so you go out to your car, kind of looking over your shoulder, the underground Atlanta parking deck has never been one for dawdling too long. And you make your way, you get in, you see Cyrus enter a larger vehicle beside you, and you make your way out. Atlanta traffic being what it is, it's a bit slow going. Where are you headed? Uh, I We are going to first go to the varsity, okay. which is going to be a public stop for us to talk together in what is a public but private way. It's an excellent place for us to gather our thoughts. And I am going to reach out to somebody who I know has expertise in crime scenes and may be able to point me in the direction of the mess of the person having possibly been led to death. Okay. So. Wonderful. All right. So you make your way down to the varsity. Mm-hmm. It's a bit stop and go. Of course. Somebody rear ends someone next to you on the way, but you keep going as you do. Mm-hmm. And you make your way over to the varsity. Are you going into the parking deck or into the upper parking? Uh, we're going to go into the underneath the parking deck area, but that's on the same level as the, the road is. Okay. Just not directly adjacent to the road, but a little bit back away from it. Okay. So you both pull in, make a stop, and you get out and greet each other? Yes. Yeah, so I'll pull in um, in a truck. Um, so, like, not, like, huge, like, a... 250, more like a Toyota Tacoma style. Okay. Um, there is a closed hatch on the bed, um, and then uh, he gets out, um, kind of adjusts his leather jacket, and just kind of looks at you, expectant. I have my phone in my hand, as per usual. Um, I am awaiting any particular other text messages I may receive from anybody else, checking the news on the regular, because I am very tuned into politics. And uh, I get out and uh, address you as friendly as I can, even though I know the friendliness will not be reciprocated. And uh, I let you know that I happen to know somebody who has some expertise in, in crime scenes. Okay. And I, I, I think we should call him. I think that would be the best to, thing to do right now. I think you should call him. Okay. Sure. I'll do that. Okay. And so who are you calling? I'm call my Aaron. friend Aaron over here. All right. As you're dialing the number, a small banner appears at the top of your phone from Falcon that just says, you might need a Scarlet Witch. <sighs> and I text back, okay, period, 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 period. She sends back, uh, winking tongue out emoji. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm right. dialing Aaron. I pick up the phone. Uh, hello? Hey, Aaron. It's, uh, it's Mel. How are you doing this evening? Doing okay. What's, what's new? Um, I actually, uh, was hoping that you could meet me over at the Varsity. I was actually going to have a burger, and I want to talk to you about some potential, uh, news opportunities I have coming up. Sure thing. I can do a burger. Excellent. Um, I will see you in 10? Uh, 15. I drive slow. Okay. Sounds good. See you then. <laughs> All right. So, Aaron, you're going to make your way? Yep. I'll just um, go right down the corner, look around, and park. Okay. Are you parking in the same parking deck? Uh, yeah. I'll just park close. All right. And so you enter. You see her standing outside her vehicle along with another gentleman who you don't recognize. No. How are you? I'm very well. How have you been? Hungry. Yeah. Uh, same. Um, so, I heard there was a situation of uh, a friend of ours who may have uh, uh, left a little bit of a mess. I didn't know if you've heard anything that's happened recently that was surprising or out of the ordinary or anything at all. No. Honestly, I'm very slow with updates. Uh, I think you're the last person I talked to in a while, so, but there's always a mess, isn't there? Okay, uh, yeah, I'm here to help. Okay, um, 
Has there been anything recently that you know that, that's been out of the ordinary, different than your normal scenes, or? It's been rather slow at, at the department. Okay. Nothing that I think would be out of the ordinary. It's messy. Uh, nothing too weird, though. Why? Uh, you know, due diligence, just trying to make sure that everything is on the up and up. Hmm. Um, so there's not been any recent bodies that have been surprising? Y you know... Yes. Uh, I'm on a bit of a short leash, though. Ooh, why don't I call someone else in? I know it's getting a little crowded, but there's one other person I'd like who would uh, keep me honest in this. Okay, but... Okay. I promise it won't be... Mm -mm. Nope, sorry. I was going to say more messy than usual, but we'll see. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'll pull out my somewhat new phone and call Anton. Okay. I uh, would like to heighten senses to hear this conversation. Okay. So you will... The, the traffic is a bit much in here, but you are still able to hear the phone call. Alright? Right. The phone rings. Ring. Oh, hi. Uh, I've got a friend, call, fr friend asking about something that came up. Do you mind if we meet? What kind of friend? A uh, friend who helped me out before. What kind of help? Uh, help with getting accustomed to living in Atlanta. Hmm. Bring friend to a... Uh... To a Thai place. Place we go for dinner? Sure. It's a good place to meet. I, I wrap up here in a bit. I meet you there. Okay. I, that's easy enough. It's right down the street. Or, and I'll hang out. Okay. I'll pick you up for a trip. It, it depends. I mean, we're on a bit of a short time span, so... It's like two blocks down the corner. Okay. Left, right. You know what? You follow me. Uh, sure. We'll be there pretty quickly. Okay. Uh, three vehicles still? You can ride with me. Okay, that sounds great. I uh, grab my briefcase, which I have with me at all times, which also has my iPad, my note notepad, uh, my cell phone, and I uh, hop into his vehicle. Okay. Very uh, uh, um, trepidatiously. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's nice leather seats, um, and uh, but pretty standard everything else. No GPS, no nothing. It's just like basic as you can get. Clean. It's very clean. Extremely clean. It smells clean. Yeah. Um, and uh, I will um, follow the newcomer, okay. whose name I did not get. All right. So you guys head on down to the Thai place. Right. A couple people almost merge into you. <laughs> You hear Aaron lay on the horn. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and you pull into the Thai place. And as you get out, you make your way to the hostess stand. Yep. And you know what you And I'll look around uh, until I see Anton. Unfortunately, you do not see Anton there. Okay. Uh, to the waitress, I'll say, can I get a table for four? As you say that, the waitress looks at you with a vague sense of remembrance, as if she's recalling something, and she reaches into her apron, and she pulls out a note for you. Do I recognize the waitress? You do not. Okay. Uh, I'll just hold on to it and say thank you. Okay. And she says, all right, and just walks away. Cool. Uh... We get a table? Right. Okay. Well, that was the waitress, not the hostess. Yeah. Um, one second. I'll open the note and take a look at it. So, as I got out, I would have grabbed my backpack. Okay. And entered with it on one shoulder. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know what? It looks a little crowded here. 
why don't we get it to go and uh, we can meet him somewhere else. Okay. Okay. So you're going to place it to-go order? Yeah. Uh, just a simple two-cup ramen and out the door. Okay. And so you stand there for a couple minutes. It takes them a little bit to make it. It's quite a busy night. And they eventually come out with two plastic bags and pass them off to you. Nice. I'll reach in, uh, pay for it. Leave the tip and uh, we'll walk out the door. Okay. And so you guys head out and across the street, you spy a familiar face. So he, yeah, this way. <laughs> okay. Nothing sketchy or cross. And we cross very carefully because it is downtown land traffic and we're not at a crosswalk. So. Yeah, you wait for, you wait oh, for those five <laughs> seconds between cars to just book it. Across the street. I'm a yeah. heel, so I'm. Clack, 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 I'm just clack. standing outside of my gate and looking at them with heightened senses up. Okay. Covering my ears a bit from the traffic. So you recognize Aaron. You recognize. I recognize her. Mel. Don't know this one. Someone new for you. Oh, here's the new for that. And I'll kick off heightened senses. Welcome, Mel. Good to see you again. I didn't know you were the friend, or are you the friend? You don't look like a friend. You're probably the friend. Good to see you again. Good to see you, though. Uh, come inside. Come inside. Come inside. And I'll, I will scan uh, the key, my key card to the door, and we'll go into the top level. Okay. And so as you guys start to enter, a kick of wind hits up, and if you could feel it, you know it would be immensely cold. But... You kind of learn over the years, kind of shiver a little bit, pull your coat a little tighter, learn to play the part. Mm. And so now you guys head in to what looks to be an old bookstore, perhaps? Maybe a little older? If you want to let them know. Yeah. Uh, inside books, line shelves, all over the place. A few display cases of older books, a couple of artifacts. Uh, windows all have metal slats over them. Uh, they can flip up and down. Uh, not much in there. It's a preservation center. Door at the back. Front door closes. What business brings friends? Uh, it's safe to talk in here. Potential work. Work. Your work or your work? It's our work for the time being mm -hmm. and possibly if I can ask for your assistance, all of our work. By the way, I am so sorry. It has been a crazy evening. Cyrus, this is Aaron, Hi. and this is Anton. This is Cyrus. He'll be, uh, he'll be working with me this evening, and therefore, hopefully, all of us. So. I am here on the behest of Falcon uh -huh. to judge what needs to be judged. To judge. Do you hold the title in the city, or...? I'm going to look around, ignore the question. Okay. Um, and I'm going to sense the unseen. Okay. I'm going to look around this place. So, there's not too much since the, that since the unseen can show you in this level. Um, but you're looking around, and there's a small shadow in the corner of the room, but by the time you look back, it's gone. Okay. What is the work? Uh, Falcon is very concerned. She caught wind of a uh, Malkavian that drained somebody dry, and uh, she's trying to reach Tilly to try to get some more information. And Tilly is completely out of contact, mm. and uh, we are very concerned, obviously, as you would expect to be. So. Yeah. We really need to figure out what is happening right now. Hmm. Aaron, is this uh, upstairs work or downstairs work? This is definitely downstairs hmm. work. But I, and I'll take out a, a couple of small vials, like a couple of small vials from like a pocket full of vials and a very small knife. Uh, cost of admission is what? You won't be getting through the door otherwise. 
Now you have to adjust the ward to let you through. All right. Okay, fine. Adam's on it. I offer my hand. Right. And I will take a I'll cut with a small little knife on the finger, and I will. And so he makes a small cut, mm -hmm. and you kind of will the bite forward mm -hmm. so that you can put a few drops. Okay. Fill it up about a quarter of the way as best I can. Okay. And new friend? I will watch what happens and then I will determine if I give you my... or not. So it's yourself if you don't give it, you stay up here. And I will take a little stick, a little stick brush out, and I'll walk over to the door. And I will dip stick into the blood. I will paint into the carved Cyrillic, which is in the door frame. Seal this file, open the door, and gesture for for Aaron and Mel to go down. I'll step on through. I trepidatiously follow once again. <laughs> Watching, like, curiously the entire time, but will nod and then walk over and fill, I'll take a bottle from you. Fill okay. And I'll fill it to the exact spot that you filled it for her uh, first. Yeah. And then I'll do the same thing, like, new, new stick, I'll put the old stick in the, in the other vial, new stick. Hang in, close the vial, vial in the jacket, get to you, friend. Welcome to the Athenium. Steps in. Okay, and so as you... Close the door behind and down the stairs. And so as you go down the stairs, the lower subterranean level is just full of a lot of the same things, though a lot more kindred-related paraphernalia than you would have seen upstairs. Numerous texts, artifacts that some of you may feel that you recognize, but not entirely just yet. There's books from all over varying ages. Uh, some look like they've been through a fire. Some just look like they've been through time itself. There's display cases and shelves all over the room. Filled cabinets of material components all over the walls, arts of posters and bands and movies and a lot of Dolly Parton. And a high-ring computer sits at a desk in the corner and there's a few mummy sleeping bags rolled up in case of emergency. No, I'll them upstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna make myself at home, point to the couch. This is my haven. You have access to wards. You are now welcome anytime you want to, so long as I am here. This is a safe place for whatever we need. At any point in time, I can wipe the ward and you are not allowed in. It means I have to do a lot of work to let all the other people back in. I ask that you please do not violate my trust. Thank you very much. Of course. I'm very appreciative. Now, uh, we are looking for Tilly. Uh, who have we reached out to already? I have reached out to Aaron initially to find out if there's any information about the body that was drained, and yeah. he reached out to you. So this is where we're at. This is where we're at. Uh, Cyrus, you come from Falcon. Has Falcon reached out to anybody? I do not know. I do not come from Falcon. Falcon has contracted me to assist you. Hmm. You have as much information as I have. Hmm. Good. I like even playing field. All right. Hmm. I'm going to walk around a bit aimlessly. Okay. Uh, and looks like I'm waiting for a sign. As you guys get Mel, your phone rings. And strangely, the name on the phone says Falcon, and she's not normally one for phone calls, and she tends to not trust them. But she's got a new phone that got the Nosferatu permission made for her, so she's trying to get used to it in important situations. Good evening. How can I help you? Hey. Um. Let's, okay. Uh. Let's just say. You know, you know, you know who, who really held the adventure together? together? Sorry, Sorry, I was re-watching a game and I just had to, I had to stop. stop. You, know, you know, Tony Stark really just held the team together. together. You, you know, know every, every superhero, superhero needs its own blue blood. blood. Somebody, Somebody to keep things on the up and up and, up and sort of have, have the finances if things go wrong. They really wouldn't have done it without Tony, you know? But, uh, oh, gotta go. Call you later. I, I, oh, I, uh, okay. Good night. I uh, look at my phone very 
very cautiously not wanting to text this person. What are we using code names? Uh, are we using code names? I I I, I, I am via text oh, with my friend Jen. Uh, but we're using Avengers code names. Uh, <laughs> which one am I? <laughs> Uh, I'm not really sure. Scarlet Witch? Was he Scarlet Witch? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Um, she refers to the Tremere as Scarlet Witch. Okay, excellent. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's the thing I would know already? Yes. Okay, that's that's my fault. Um, I think I might look more of the Doctor Strange. That's fine. So, they heard the conversation. You would not know. I would not know. I know. Uh, I, but I, since he's just asked you that question, okay. you would know that he must have heard something. Understood. Yes, you're Scarlet Witch... Winter Soldier. Uh, yeah, I um, I need to make a quick phone call. All right. Uh, room, uh, shells in back, more private. All right. I make my way over there. I open my phone, and I scroll, and I scroll, and I land on a name. I'm not a big fan of Ventru, but I'm gonna call her anyways. So before you make that call. We cut to across town in the penthouse level of the Queen Tower of the King and Queen buildings. Tabitha Hernandez is sitting back in her chair, her long hair pulled neatly into a twist updo, so tight that if she could feel it, her scalp would probably ache. (laughs) She's clad in a plum pinstripe suit with some designer label that probably costs twice as much as a car. Tabitha has called you in here. Mm. Thomasina, you remember Tilly's little Jacob? The nice boy with the blonde hair? Sure. He comes yeah. by on occasion. Yes, yes. He makes a, makes a really good mother. Uh, he does. Oh, he does. Doesn't he? Mm. Uh, he's been seen out in uh, Little Five Points. Mm. But, you know, he's doing all of the shopping Tilly does. He's picking up her paints. He's picking up materials for her, and that doesn't make sense. If he's doing the shopping, something might be wrong with Tilly. A few of us permission have talked, Hmm. and uh, we think somebody needs to go look for her. He could be in love with her. He could be trying to impress her. He could be trying to... Okay, fine. That's fine. I get it. That's it. So, you're probably going to receive a phone call. Oh, taking this is mandatory. So I'm happy that leaves a good time. All right, mm. thank you. Mm. Always a good girl. Mm. All right, goodbye, goodbye. And she <clears throat> shuts you out of her office. And I take my purse and I get my phone out, just eagerly awaiting this phone call. And so, your phone rings. I'm going to let it go a couple times. That. <laughs> Calling again. It's ringing. I answer. Nelly! Thomasina, it's so great to hear your lovely voice. Oh, same, dear, same. How are you? I'm I'm so well. Did you catch my segment last night on uh, Anderson Cooper? I did, I did. How's he feeling after the New Year's? Time? Oh, he's he's a uh, he's a little a little wary, a little worse for wear. Do you see the the particular part about uh, the uh, the oh. Chicago School District and <laughs> I, their shakeup. Did I you see that? did. Yeah. I did. You know, Atlanta is really in a better place by now. Oh you? yeah, it really it's, it's in a great place. place. They see you, right? It's not big for me. Oh, yeah. you're so sweet to recognize. I know. So, um, I I assume that you've probably already heard information on your side, but uh, I uh, I need your help. Uh, so if uh, if you would be willing to Taking a movie with me. Oh, hold um, on, hold on, Melly. Um, I you cut out there for a second. You need what? What was that? I need your help. Oh, loud and clear. Or, or rather, I've been uh, told that I need your help. I'm sorry. Let me just make sure I'm more clear about that. Um, so, would you like to? Uh, would you like to see a movie? There's, there's a two dollar theater, a new one that just popped up. Um, they're showing ending again, actually. It has to be the two dollar theater, huh? All right. We can do that. Great! That's so great. Um, I'm going to shoot you the address, okay? Perfect. All right. Thanks. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Is everything okay? <laughs> yeah, it's great. She's um, she's just, she's she's hard to work with sometimes. 
but it'll be okay. Um, I got this. So I shoot her the uh, address of the Thai restaurant, okay. not of where we are currently at, mm. and that is where I will meet her. Okay. Uh, I would like to throw in there that it's the traffic is particularly bad. Getting into the Thai restaurant is going to be particularly bad at this moment. Okay. So yeah, I will tell her that I am texting my driver, Philip, um, and that when he picks me up, he can drop me off there. So okay. traffic shouldn't be that much of a concern. Hmm. All right. And so as you head over, hmm. we are going to take just a quick break. And we'll be right back with you guys in a minute.
I don't even like their social. Me neither. I think they suck. Which would explain a lot. Mm. The Lord knows who doesn't. Do you have audio again? All right. Stand by. Okay. Sound is back. Okay. All right. We'll let you talk a little bit just to make sure that it's working before we go into the everything. Yeah. And we're back. Thank you for sticking with us through those little technical difficulties. It's growing pains. So, Thomasina. Your driver has gotten you downtown through the traffic, through the wrecks, and there's no parking at the Thai restaurant, really? but he was able to pull you up and let you out at the door. And I just tell Philip, thank you, just do a couple of laps, and then I'll let you know whether I need to be picked up again or to dismiss him. Y yes, ma'am, I'll, I'll stay in the area. Good boy, and I get out of the car, I make sure I have my purse, and I make sure that my phone is completely charged, I take it off the charger that's in the back seat. And I realize that I am in front of a Thai restaurant, <laughs> not a film, not a theater, not particularly hungry yet. And not in a terribly great part of town either. No. None of that part. No. So I, uh, do I see uh, Millie anywhere or? I will not have come down yet because as soon as I got off the phone with her, I approached my host and asked him. I was instructed to bring in a, another uh, team member for this, and I need to meet her and bring her in. I know that you have to meet with her first. Mm. Is it okay if you meet, come with me to the Thai restaurant to grab her, or what's the best way to do this? Mm. You're bringing a lot of strangers into my house. <laughs> uh, it, it, yes, the more the merrier, right? The more the merrier. Uh, you go get her. I'll take a look at you. I'll take a look who it is through the doorbell, and uh, I'll meet you upstairs. Okay. And I'm just gonna step to the side, and I'll start eating the Thai food that Aaron's brought me, and spitting it out into another cup. <laughs> okay. I just like the flavor. <laughs> and I will uh, tread through the the top floor, down the flight of stairs, open the, the door to the windy outside area, okay. and uh, wave across the street. Hi, Thomasina, and over I'm here. Looking at my phone. <laughs> I'm looking at my phone. Oh, hi. Go back to looking at my phone. Sorry about all this. Pointing yes. to the several cars that are going by fairly quickly. Just just come on over. Come come over this way. I slowly put my phone away. <laughs> and walk over. Hi, dear. Good to see you again. You too. As you always. Too. Yeah. Where are we? Um some folks that can help us with the situation that I know you're aware of. I, I'm i not sure, but I think I recognize where we are. It looks familiar, I think, but I can't place it yet. Um, I don't know. There's something about it. All right, fine. Let's go in and see what we have to do here. So I will go up to the door and mm. you will. And you oh. see a little doorbell on the door, sort of like a ring doorbell. But the light around it is lit up red, and you know that you're being watched right now. And I'll do the speaker, I'll say, have your friend step in front so I can see who it is. Thomasina, I kind of just... <laughs> Shoves me on so <laughs> and I stare into it. Pause. Mm. You've got to be fucking kidding me. And buzz in. <laughs> So we uh, alight the stairs, but we can't enter. And I will come up. Yes. And I will open the back doors of management. <sighs> Anton, this is... Uh, Thomas. Yeah, no, we got that silly thank you. I'm sorry. No, hey. Uh, how do you guys know each other? Not as well as we thought we did. <laughs> From the corner of the room, you hear a slight echo of a... <laughs> so... Seems we run in more similar circles than I thought. Mm. I'm pretty shocked. I can't uh, can't hide that. Not even a little bit. Which ah. plan? We need to ask. No, I'm not shocked at all. <sighs> no, no. Hmm. Ah, so I'm, I'm sorry. How, how do you guys know? How do you know each other? Some of us have better taste in films than others. Some of us have better taste in 
cultural displays than others. Some of us have better taste in an evening out together. Some of us ghost on phone calls. Oh, Some I of see. us are busy. It's fine. Some of us have more important things to do. Let's continue, please. Hmm. Who is this? Another new friend. Mm. Cyrus. Thomasina. Thomasina. Cyrus. Um, mm. So Tabitha says you have to help along as well? She does. Alright, well, same rules I gave them. I pull out another empty vial. Cost of admission. Oh my god. <laughs> if I'd known. Mm. Right. If I had known. <laughs> Don't worry, we have Lysol wipes. We can clean up any mess. So considerate here, mm. always. <laughs> and I uh, I put out my hand. No. Slight and pull up mm. a little more than the others. Mm. Why? I gotta ask. Because you cannot get through that door without it. Mm. And I will dip and feel in the Cyrillic. Okay. Shove the door open and walk downstairs. <laughs> mm. Okay. So. And so, as everyone is heading downstairs, you mm. follow? Curiously, yes. Mm. Okay. And from over your shoulder, the laugh comes again, just a slight echo. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm pretty sure. Anton, uh, you said uh, you didn't have kids? How could I have kids? That's a better question now than it was. Mm. Yeah. No, I don't have kids. Alright. I, I was careful in my college years. <laughs> mm, okay, well. So, well, cozy spot that we're in. Yes, this is my haven. Same thing I told them. You are now allowed in. You can only be here with my permission. Do not violate my trust or I have to wipe the wards and then you are not allowed in anymore. It's a big pain in the ass, but... Tabata says so, who am I to disagree? Hmm. There's also this person. Uh, once I see her, I start sitting up just a little bit. <laughs> Aaron, this is Thomasina. Thomasina, this is Aaron. Hi, Aaron. I'm a little underdressed, sorry. It's all right, I'm perpetually overdressed. Hmm. All right, hmm. how much of this story do you know? I've been told that Tilly is not doing her own shopping. Shock. But uh, instead, it's been this. Oh, I can't remember his name. It's doing it for her. So clearly, the errands are still getting done. Errand boy. Mm, yeah. Do I know errand boy? You know of Jacob. I know of Jacob. You've seen him around. Okay. Him. Okay. Uh, so he, so Tabitha has spotted him, or somebody that Tabitha has has spotted him. Yeah. Okay. So going around little five points. No, oh, this will be easier then. Hmm. <clears throat> so always. So if he's around, we have to find Jacob. I think I can help with it, and I will open up a filing cabinet, okay. and I will pull out a vial. Oh my god, you're true. Containing a ribbon that is, been, that is soaking in blood. Okay. Uh, do any of you know Jacob in a larger capacity? Mm-mm. No? Unfortunately. Mm. I think so. Mm? Right. Hmm. I'm going to I'll go to my computer and I'll... Do I know Jacob's last name? Nope. No? Alright. Mm. I'm going to shoot a text okay. over to... Uh, over to Dr. Carter. Okay. And I'll, I'll say... Uh, trying to find Tilly's friend Jacob on Facebook. Don't remember his last name. You get back a message that says, kid never introduced himself to me. Sorry, I have a lot of students. Okay, fair. All right, well, this will be a bit harder then, and I will focus on Jacob, the concept of Jacob. I've seen him a, a little bit, but I can't really pull up anything in front of me. I will cut a piece of the ribbon off, mm -hmm. light it on fire, and illuminate the trail of prey. Okay. I believe is a... Uh, Blood sorcery and intelligence roll. Yes. So it should say a lot of dice. <laughs> First roll of mm -hmm. the game. First Ooh. roll. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> One, two, three, four successes. Okay. Uh, so you do see a bit of a trail light up. 
going out. Mm-hmm. And we can kind of sense the general direction. It's <clears throat> heading towards Little Five. All right. I have the trail for the night. I have to wrap up a couple things. Go upstairs. I meet you upstairs. We go. Or at least I go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I go up last. Hmm? Okay. And when the door shuts, I will go over behind the filing cabinet. Okay. I will open the trap door with the sigil. Mm-hmm. And I will put the three vials of blood in the shelf mm-hmm. under there. Close it. We've met the ward, replaced, and up the stairs I go. Okay. And as you head up the stairs, you feel a tap tap on so your shoulder. We don't have that much time. You don't laugh, Kenzie, right? <laughs> Be careful. You coming with or are you hanging out? Nah. Let me have all the fun. <laughs> Lock up behind you. Now go upstairs and you close. Okay. Alright. Ah. I'm gonna step outside. Which way does trail go? Trail leads you to the right. To the right? Does it look like it's going off into a distance or? Yeah, it looks like it's going off in the direction of Little Five. Alright. Somebody have to drive and navigate. Does anybody have a vehicle that can hold five? I have a, a sedan. It can't hold five. It won't be very comfortable. I could call Philip back. He's been doing laps for a little while now. Hmm. How is Philip? He's doing. Hmm. He still thinks you're cute. Don't know why. Yeah, we can blame him. Mm. I will drive and follow this Philip. Mm. One can ride with me if you want. I, I don't care. I will ride with you. All right. Okay. No offense, Thomasina. None taken. <laughs> I text Philip. Okay. He's about a block or so away. He'll be doing the best he can to get back around in the traffic that we've got. And eventually, Philip does make his way back around mm. out front and rolls down his window. Yes. Hello. Hello, Philip. Oh, hey, Anton. Mm. I got shotgun and I'll get into the driver's seat. The, the shotgun seat. Yeah, and his hands are strictly attended to. <laughs> Good to see you again. <laughs> Good to see you. Mm. You look good. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're looking good yourself. Oh, thanks. thanks. <laughs> you color your hair? Yeah, actually. I I just I did a little highlights, a little like, tried to do some blue and it didn't really work, mm. so so I washed it out. The but highlights are good. Stick thanks, with the highlights. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Come on. This is precious. You know, I've never ridden in a limousine before. It's okay. It's just a it's just a Lincoln Continental. You can just go in the back. It's fine. Do I need to take off my shoes? Yes. Yes, you do. I will take off it's my a shoes. Good idea. Good okay. job. And we, I enter in from the street, and I have Aaron go all the way around to the other side, where there's a couple of cars that are actually coming by, and you're like, "Hello." All right. Um, and then we get in the car, and then uh, we go ahead, and we where are we going again? We are going to follow the way the direction I go. So go that way, Philip. And we decide, I order him to go ahead and follow on and then check to see whether or not uh, this Cyrus kid is behind us. Yeah, so you do see a large truck behind you that you can assume is him. Mm. Uh, looking out the window, you can kind of make out him and Mel. Oh, good. It's a little Mel's dark, a little tinted, but you can make out. All right. We follow the trail. As I'm driving, um, uh, Mel Asandra. Uh, Tell Falcon that I want my payment as soon as possible delivered to the normal address. Okay. So I uh, pull up Falcon mm-hmm. and I text her and I say, Have you heard? Miley Cyrus is in town. Tickets are. The usual price, and you can buy them at the usual ticket master that you usually go to, exclamation mark. Okay. And I send it. All right. It takes a couple minutes, but a text comes back that just has an eye roll emoji and says, all right, I'll grab tickets. Uh, Falcon responds in the affirmative. Just keep, 
be following okay. the Lincoln Continental in front of me. <laughs> mm. right. Turn the right. What is that? Yeah, I don't want your shoes off. <laughs> you know, I'm just living the life right now. <laughs> don't get comfortable around her. <laughs> so, oh, do, Aaron. Go ahead. So how do you know Anton? Oh, well. Do you remember that film that came out a little while ago? I can't believe I'm going to tell the story. It's going to be so good. Mm. Uh, it was, um, oh, what was it? Only Lovers Left Alive. Only Lovers Left Alive. That's right. Tom Hiddleston and Tilda Swinton when they were, <laughs> I can't believe this, <laughs> vampires. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and we went to go see it. It was awful. It was awful. It was so bad. That was really the one thing that we could agree on. <laughs> you think with enough kindred in Hollywood, somebody would get that right. Oh, yeah. No, they, they missed it entirely. It was, yeah. uh, we met at the tapestry exhibit. We went on a couple yeah. dates. It didn't work out. No. The tapestries were good, though. The tapestries very are very nice. Yeah. 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 Did you select those? The uh, way you curated them? No, the curator of the of, uh, Marcus Museum did. Oh, they did really, really well. I should talk to them a little mm. bit more closely. So, yes, that's uh, how we met. Field Toronto Moreland. Mm. And Phil, yes, sir. <laughs> very cautiously <laughs> tries to get it the limo around the corner in very tight little five streets. <laughs> you you feel a little <laughs> over the curb. <laughs> Honey, you gotta gotta be careful around here. Sorry. Yeah. It's all right, try again. No, Thomasina, it's so funny. I thought that we just didn't have a whole lot in common and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the ones where you actually do have a lot in common. Mm. No. And yet we don't. And yet we don't. And all right. so your trail ends about near Ragarama. Oh. Going to the park? Or here? Yeah. And Phil goes, oh, there's, there's not any, any mm. I'll just let you guys out. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. I'll slip on my shoes. Okay. And I'll get out. I'll and get out. Cyrus, you see them pulling to the side of the street, kind of where the cars are, but you know that there's a small parking lot. I'll let her out, mm -hmm. and then I'll go park. Okay. Um, and um, as soon as I park, I'm going to go... Um, unseen Passage. Okay. Um, which will require a house check. Yes, please make me your house check. Uh, do not get more hungry. Good, good, good. Huzzah. Um, and I will also activate Silence of Death, and I will mm -hmm. move with complete letter silence. Okay. As I catch up to them, hopefully unknown, mm -hmm. unnoticed. Okay. So yeah, um, you saw Cyrus Park, but no sign of him. And so you figure, might as well head over alone. He's probably not coming. Hmm. Where is he? I don't know. Should we wait, or? No, I, I say we go ahead. Yeah. All he, right. he seems as though he's got a fairly good lay of the land. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and make my roll to follow the trail somewhere. The, the uh, intelligence survival roll. One crit. Okay. Uh, the trail goes inside Ragarama. All right. I'm going to activate Sense the Unseen, make sure that I'm not walking into something I can't see. Mm. Is it open? It's open. Mm -hmm. right. What time is it approximately? It's probably approximately about 10. Okay. So uh, in terms of little five points, it's hopping. It's yeah. early. It's mm -hmm. quite hopping. There's a bit of music going on. There's probably a pub crawl happening. You're not sure. This is kind of the typical amount of drunk people that stagger about, but mm -hmm. they seem to be in a line, so maybe it is a pub crawl. Okay. Yeah. Nothing in front of Ragorama? Ghosts, Nothing. vampires, etc. Nothing. Anything around me? No, not that you can see. Not that I can see? Hmm. All right, let's go. Mm. All right, so you guys head into Ragorama and the girl who is very over encumbered with a stack of clothes goes, Hey, um, uh, I'll be with you in a minute. Do you need something? I think we're good. Thank you. I'm just going to keep following the trail. Okay. And the trail goes right up to the cash register. Cash register? And ends there. Okay. I will passively look around as though I actually am there for business. And so it doesn't look weird that we're all just traipsing up to the cashier, just all as a group ready to go. So Okay. So you're looking around. There's actually some nice pieces. Yes. Some, some good local brands that you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. And you see, oh, this one has a new collection. 
and it's pretty cute. Yeah. A little floral theme, getting ready for spring. Yeah, there's a couple nice blazers in there yeah. that I really like. I'm going to push my sense unseen with whips aspects. Okay. See if I can catch anything around me. Uh, one success. Um, unfortunately, there's still nothing. Hmm. Push up, look behind the cash register. Uh, and as you look behind the cash register, there's a guy down there that's like fiddling with something. He goes, oh, hey, hey, man, sorry, sorry, sorry. And he stands up and straightens his clothes out. He goes, welcome to Ragarama. How can I help you? Thank you. I am meeting a friend here uh, by name of Jacob. Oh, Jacob was in here earlier. You must have just missed him. He, mm. uh, he was setting up a delivery. Um, hold on. Uh, he said he, hold on, and he finds a piece of paper. He goes, yeah, um, yeah, we're delivering clothes here. If, if you were going to hang out with him, do you want to take him? Mm. I mean, honestly, it saves me the trouble. I don't really. You can, de- depends on where they're going, I can take him. If he's going to be there. I think it's just his house. I mean, if you're his friend. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, hold on, let me get his order. And he brings out just a nicely wrapped parcel. Right. And sticks the address tab in there. Okay. Hands over to you. He goes, thanks, man. We are completely swamped tonight. So Absolutely. you are doing me a solid. I majorly owe you one. What's your name? Uh, my name is Anton. But Anton. Hey, you Pleasure know what? to meet you, buddy. You know what? Here, just forget about it. I'll use cloud memory. He goes, cool, man. Bye. And I'll walk, over. I'll walk around. I'm still doing sense unseen to see if I can catch anybody. Anything that's hidden. See if Jacob may be hiding here. I don't have any heightened senses or anything, but I was listening to the conversation just because yeah. I was eavesdropping mm-hmm. artfully. <laughs> and uh, I'm Eavesdrop looking at things. Check. <laughs> yeah. Looking at things and listening and looking at things and listening and not going to purchase anything at the moment, but okay. might come back. I'm uh, meandering around the store between just a few of the different entrances and exits, and I'm looking to see where Cyrus might have gone. And whether or not this is a place that has so many entrances and exits that there might be a few people coming and going right now. There's pretty much a door in the front, mm. and then you can kind of see an employees-only door that mm-hmm. probably leads out back. Okay. It's a fairly small store, but it's quite teeming with people. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to go into that employees-only area. Okay. Um, wait for uh, an employee to go back there and then slip in. Okay. Um, and uh, just looking for any signs of anything out of the ordinary. Um, looking for, obviously, Anton brought us here for a reason. I don't know who this Jacob guy is. I have no idea what he looks like. But I'm going to see what I can find. If anything, any leads to anything or anything anywhere. Just looking for something. Okay, so yeah, while you were waiting for the door to open, someone came out after finishing their lunch break and headed out so you were able to slip in. There's a few filing cabinets, some security camera TVs, and then just a desk with food particles all over it. A stray Taco Bell lettuce. Okay. Look around and then wait for the next person to open the door before I slip out. Okay. Yeah, you, you hear outside, <coughs> just finished my lunch, it's your turn. And the door opens and someone else comes in. Okay. Would, uh, would I be recognized by people on the street? Uh, Probably not this demographic, yeah, right? Yeah, not this demographic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and find them and go. I have delivery. Sure. Uh, mm. Can I take that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll just hold on to it. Okay. All right. <sighs> I feel like we're not supposed to leave your brand new friend behind, but he he ghosted us. You know what that's like. I I don't want to leave just yet as I rode with him and my bag is in his vehicle. Mm-hmm. So I am going to I'm gonna go back to his vehicle and just hang out for a little bit if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Um go to yourself. Maybe I can meet up with you guys? We can wait if you want. Okay. You have a phone number for him? Uh I do not. Mm. It's probably for the best. Mm. So uh we go back to his vehicle, which is in the side parking yeah. lot, which I assume is fairly busy in the evening. It's the little, that little... The little, like, like behind one the row that's yeah. right there, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to stand there and stand by the passenger door patiently okay. for mm-hmm. about five minutes before I get impatient. <laughs> While we do that, I'm going to focus a bit more on the uh, the trail that Jacob's been the past 24 hours, see if it 
points to another direction, goes to that, goes in the direction of that address, etc. Strangely, there is no more trail. Can I look on the parcel to see if I see a last name? Nope, it's just an address. Gotcha. I'm going to go ahead and text Philip to get back around here um, so that we at least have some place more covert and not just completely out in the open to discuss things. Okay. So Philip does pull up, but he's sort of blocking traffic <laughs> at mm. this point, and he rolls down the window. Sorry! Sorry! You said you were ready? That's what you get for hiring a guy from San Francisco. Uh, I have no more trail to follow. Um, here, I'm going to take a picture of the address on the package. Go, I live with you if you want, so you don't wait alone here. Go, you two want to head over? I meet, we meet you there? Simple enough. Yeah. Over. Okay, so you guys get in the car. Mm-hmm. Are you going to remove your shoes? No, I'll keep them on this time. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, that I've left enough of a muddy trail that it really doesn't matter anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to, you'll hear the unlocking click click of the thing, and then I'll basically come around the other side, dropping okay. unseen passage, okay. uh, and uh, grab your bag. I've got a contact that I want to reach out to. I'll see what I can find out. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. How can Next I reach? Next time, don't leave it in the car. I apologize. How can I reach you? I'll have Falcon contact you. Okay. You're not coming along on our grand adventure? I'm not over by you guys. No, I'm, I'm next to her. Oh, are you? Oh, I missed yeah, that. Yeah, totally he, he was waiting with me. Totally missed that. <laughs> yeah, he's waiting with Who me. Who are you talking to then? <laughs> <laughs> totally, but my bad. Um, uh, I'll meet up later. I've got some... I want to ask someone something and see if I can find a better lead than following, obviously, a dead end. All right, come on. And I follow Anton and get into Thomasina's vehicle. Wave down, Philip's vehicle before I drive away. <laughs> Philip's like, oh, of course. <laughs> and he pulls over to get cars honking behind mm-hmm. him. And a couple of drunks go, hey, money bags. <laughs> and I just get him to like, pull into the gas station really quick so he can kind of calm down. I'm just going, eh. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do everything I can not to, to flick off the bike. I do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you guys... Get in the car. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And are you heading to the address? Or yeah. yeah. So we've got nowhere else to go, I suppose. Yeah. We head that way. Go ahead. What is the address? The address you recognize being in Marietta. Oh, God. Philip, hope you're up for a drive. Let's go. Where are we going? Well, we're headed to headed to Marietta, friend. So. Okay. So right. I'm gonna grab some gas first. Okay, well, we're, he we're right here. jumps out real quick yeah. and fills the tank. Mm. And while he's out doing that, um, I ask, okay, so what happened to, what, do we know what happened to Cyrus? Is he... He has business. Wow, so communicative. Yeah. Okay. That's, a, oh, that's his actual response. Yeah. Just no, that is... Are sure? Yeah. He's, yeah. Fo- he's following a, a, another potential lead. He has he is strong, oh. silent type. He needs a plus later. Um, so we're going to head to, um, Jacob's house in Marietta. Um, are we expecting to find Teddy there? I don't know. We go where the next bread, bread come leads, and then we go along to the woods. Yeah. Does anyone know how old this kid is? I would like to try to tap into my contacts. Mm-hmm. And, uh, maybe I don't know any other Malkavian, uh, on the Primogen Council. But would I know anybody close enough that might have known Jacob? The closest that would know Jacob would be, out of the Primogen Council, would be Olivia Brace, okay. the Tory Lord Primogen. Okay. Um, while we are getting into the vehicle, just before we leave, I'm going to let everybody know that I'm going to make a phone call, mm-hmm. and I'm just going to see if I can get any more information on Jacob specifically. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to call Olivia. Okay. It, it, it takes a second to pick up, and then it picks up. Mel, darling, how are you? Oh, Olivia, it's so great to hear from you. How are you 
yesterday. <laughs> I'm doing beautifully. Just finished another etiquette class. These youngins are coming up beautiful, just like daisies. What can I do for you? I actually was wondering about a former student of yours. Oh, who would that be? Um, Jacob. He is working for Tilly. Oh, what a delightful young man. Yes. Can you tell me what, a little bit about him? I haven't had the, the opportunity to really spend a lot of time. Oh, he's a bright young lad. He's probably about, he's about six foot three, uh, just the blackest hair you've ever seen, and bright blue eyes, just so adorable, so handsome. He's got a real soft voice. I always have to tell that boy to speak up. Um, he's pretty much always by Tilly's side, though, so I imagine if you've seen her, you might have seen him one way or another. Yeah. Does that help? It does, actually. Do you do you by any chance have a, a last name for Jacob? We just called him Jacob Harris, because that's Tilly's name, and Lord knows he's practically her boy. I gotcha. Okay. Olivia, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Of course, yeah. And you know if you find any other people from my classes, you bring them right on over. Of all the people you know, I will bring somebody to you. Thank you so much, darling. We'll have to have tea sometime. Good night. Good night. Okay, I have information yeah, that do. might help. Jacob mm. Harris. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, she mm. doesn't help me much. Were you mm. listening? Could you not even hear her? I mean, it was like a dog whistle. But <laughs> I. Anton, that's rude. <laughs> I. I know. It's precious. <laughs> I'm the orphan. Oh no, okay. you, you you do you, boo boo. We are not supposed to be hiding secrets from each other. Yeah, we're working together. We're sharing things. It's, it's, it's open. Did I? She sounded expressive, so we have an appearance as well for this kid? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. It matches my recollection of him, mostly. Yeah. I'm not sure really how much that helps, <laughs> other than we have a, a what could be an alias last name now. Mm. Um, mm. There was no name at all on the packing slip that you received? Mm, no, no, just an address. Just an address. Yeah. Could somebody, you know what, I got this. I am going to do a um, Google search mm -hmm. to take a look and see what the street view looks like of okay. that particular place. Okay. That's probably where I'm at. And what do I see? So as you do a street view, you see a lot of topiaries trimmed into spiral towers mm -hmm. forming a very tight wall and a large wrought iron gate with a cursive H on the front. I know who th whose home this is, don't I? It's Tilly's home. Yeah. I, I don't, um, it's Tilly's home, which would make sense seeing as how he was shopping for Yeah, it made all the sense in the world. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about, uh, appearing at her home unannounced. I know we're looking for her, but, um. Has, what you said, your primogen has tried to contact her multiple yes, times, so yeah. an announcement has been attempted. I have another question too. Uh, Jacob was supposed to pick this package up at Ragarama, and did they say when? He said that we just missed him, but he they didn't said that it. he was going to be delivered to him. Mm -hmm. That he had set up yeah. a delivery, and that instead of them having to deliver it, they asked Anton to do it. Exactly. Right, but well, if you were listening in too. Yeah, <laughs> but if we just See? even keel. Yeah. Uh, well, not quite, but yeah. you know. But if we just missed Jacob. And he wouldn't be all the way back in Marietta yet. No, not only that, but... Wait, so Jacob put the package there to be delivered to somebody else? Correct. To so Tilly, it appears. It appears. Why is he dropping off something for Tilly when he's been running her errands? I'd like to open the package. Are you sure that's why it's open a, a permanent package? Mm. I, I, it's all right, I'll take care of it. Mm. Just... Okay. So choose that? Uh, I don't actually want to open it. I'm going to give that to you to open. But if anything, or if there's any blowback, I will I will handle it. I ha have a good relationship. It'll be fine. You know what? I trust you. <laughs> I should say that more confidently. I yeah. trust you. I have. My leadership is, yeah. All right. Um, and I'll look to see if there's just a defined opening to the package. Yeah, it's just, it's wrapped. Uh, it's just kind of a large hat box mm -hmm. that's been wrapped with butcher paper haphazardly taped, gotcha. and then a piece of string tied around it. Okay, I'll do my best to snip it open and take it out of that wrapping. Okay, and so you see a hat box, bottom half is pink, the lid is multiple shades of silver striped, mm. and upon opening it, 
you see a variety of scarves, varying colors, extremely loud patterns, clashing styles, but it is easily 20 to 30 scarves. Yeah, it's very much Tilly's taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. We have two options. Stick around in level five, try to find him, as we know he just left. Mm -hmm. Or we can head to Marietta. It's a long drive. The trail ends here. If we look around, we'll be looking around like old gumshoe. So, mm -hmm. I vote Marietta. I vote we play package boy. Hmm. I'm wondering, though, if, um, granted, we are just going to be looking around like anyone would, but someone must have checked the house already for Tilly. Someone must know she's not already there. So what is going to be there for us? Mm -hmm. If we find anything, it has to be with Jacob. You think that, but according to Mail Sandra, they tried to call her, they tried to reach out, but they don't actually go over there. No one just checked? As far as I can tell. Oh, my God. Well, as far as I know, I mean, I didn't, I, I knew where her place was, but I didn't know address. Well, I'm interested to see it at the very least. My, uh, my etiquette is screaming at me not to just show up to somebody's house unannounced. Ring but, doorbell. Uh, yeah, it's not like that. Um, <laughs> so to Marietta? To Marietta. All right, so we will pause there and Cyrus? Um, I will pull out my phone. Mm -hmm. It is a flip phone. Okay. Um, I will pull up a number. Uh, there is no name on it, just the number. Okay. Um, I will pull up the text message. I will slowly tap, 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 tap. <laughs> tap, 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 tap uh, each individual key. Um, as so I, a while. <laughs> as, I, as I just type out, neat. And that's all I say. And I send it, uh, and I head to where that person knows. Um, and I am uh, reaching out to one of my contacts, um, who okay. is, um, I use a lot to get information Okay. when I'm looking for very specific things. Okay. All um, right. So you're going to hop in your truck mm -hmm. and head to your usual meeting spot. Yep. Traffic by now is just about at a standstill, but there's pockets of opening. So it's a little slow and then you can go fast. It's a little slow and then you can go fast, but you make your way there. Um, it's, um, this, uh, hole in the wall, like, diner, mm -hmm. um, down near Edgewood, um, and, uh, I will get out, go inside, wait, um, and, um, kind of wait to see as, uh, until I see who I'm looking for. And so it takes a little bit, mm -hmm. um hanging out for a while and then you notice them out of the corner of your eye at first okay and they walk up okay um i will have uh, a folded up piece of paper mm -hmm. um and i will just hand it to them and on it it simply says uh um oh my god i just totally brain farted uh, mm -hmm. uh not tina um tilly tilly good lord uh tilly uh jacob known associate of tilly harris not much known, what can you tell me? And that's all it says. Okay. And they take the note and they kind of look at it for a second and fold it back and then take a small pin from their pocket and took it out hmm. and write Malkavian Primogen, homebody, not seen for over a week. Um, and pass it back to them. I'll circle Jacob and then pass it back. Takes back and says, Aaron Boy, seen about, gives you the same basic description. Okay. And says, he lives with her. Okay. Okay. I nod and um, I will head back towards my haven. Okay. okay. Not towards. Alright, and so as you guys drive through Marietta, you get off at the exit, you go down, you see, you start to see the mansions showing up. You see the same house with the stone lion that has a wooden sign that's been sale for 
10 years and you, and you pass it and you go down the roads and the roads are kind of leading you a bit ways and then you see what you saw on Google Street View. The trail lighting up at all in, in the area? Trail is not lit up. I and don't see trail of Jacob, which means he hasn't been here in the day or something. And pulls the limo <laughs> in up to the gate and goes, uh, this is where the GPS says we stop. Um, do I need to hit the intercom? Yes, please. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Hmm. I'll make an introduction. Who said you want to announce? You said that he's not here. He's not here. I don't want to just... I mean, come on, Thomasina. I... Oh, oh, my etiquette is also screaming at me here, but you know what else is screaming at me is that this is a very, very big house, and this is a very, very interesting time that we're having, and I really want to find out what's in there, so... You know, let's try. You, nothing can be won without trying. And what if there's somebody in there just waiting for us, or waiting for her, or what if... There's four of us, dear. Do you know how we find out that there's somebody waiting inside for us? And I reach over and fill up my push time button. No, wait! <laughs> 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 and Philip goes, Hi there. A, a voice comes over and goes, Harris Estate, state your business. Uh, Ragorama delivery for Tilly Harris. Sits back. Tilly is not currently accepting deliveries. Delivery was arranged by Jacob. One moment. And it goes quiet for a while. This mm-hmm. almost, the silence stretches out impossibly long. And then it comes back. You may drop off the package. And you hear a buzz. And the gate proceeds to open. Oh, this is not good. And as Philip drives in, you see a beautiful Victorian-style home. Mm-hmm. Three levels tall. Spiral rooftop, wrap around porch, all of the details and accoutrement of just the most lavish of southern homes. Cute. Immaculately carved architecture. Mm. And the driveway wraps around in front of the home, around a beautiful fountain. Mm. And Jacob pulls up to the front door and goes off and Philip pulls up to the front door and stops and goes, I think this is the spot. This is the spot. Yeah. Let's make delivery. Wow, this house is really nice. It is, it is, dear. And if you could just keep your phone next to you. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. This has the most Scooby-Doo vibes for someone like me to say that. That's a lot. Um, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Um, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll. I know nothing at all about haunted house. This isn't haunted, it's just eccentric. I really don't think this is a good idea. It's not a good idea, but it's the only idea. No. And so, as you guys walk out and walk up, Anton, Mm. as you kind of look up, as you get on the porch, you see that the entire top of the porch is painted pink blue. Mm which you know is the soft greenish blue. It's meant to keep out bad spirits. Mm -hmm. Typically, you just paint it over the door, but the entire porch ceiling is covered in pink blue. Like I said, not haunted house. Mm -hmm. But but nevertheless, I'm going to bring up Sensi and Scene again, along with heightened senses. Okay. And you smell an overwhelming smell of paint. A smell of flowers. And not too much else. It's nice and quiet out here. It's painted no. Hmm. Think uh think Tilly might be nervous about something. Is the paint wet? <laughs> Smells like it's wet for a reason. Hmm. All right, all right, let's just get this over with. I take the package. I go to the front door because whomever is going to be the one to do the talking is going to be me. I'll drop heightened senses but leave up sensi and scene. Okay. All right, walk up the steps, <laughs> carry this, knock on the door. Or rather, I use the door knocker, which is large and heavy and brass. <laughs> and there's nothing for a minute. No longer. Can't really see anybody. 
walking up just yet. I'm gonna knock again. This time a little bit harder. Delivery! And you see kind of a shadow come out. Kind of tall. Built shadow. It steps out. It kind of leans around. And then it backs off. Doesn't open the door? Doesn't open the door. Okay. And after a few moments, you hear footsteps. And the door creaks open just ever so slightly. You can't really see, but you can hear. He says, uh, you can just leave the package. That's fine. Would this be a voice I'd recognize? It is just Huh. Okay. Um, he's still standing there with it, with it just very slightly open, right? Probably about open this much. Okay. Jacob, it's Mel. Uh, can I can I bring this inside to you? Says, what are you doing here? This was supposed to be a ragorama delivery. You know what? We ended up picking it up. Um, I just I can I just can we just talk inside? And he kind of opens the door just enough to squeeze his body through and shuts the door behind him. He goes, why are you here? Um, I am going to try to use um, entrancement or something. Okay. Maybe not. No. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I just saw the face, so I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not going to. No, go um, for it. Go for it. Don't let storyteller face change it. Um, Does Jacob look like Tired? <laughs> I mean, he's, 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 he's built just like a... I mean, physical, like a mental state. Does he look like, you know, as much as an Alcadian, does he look off? Like something's very wrong? Or He looks fine. Okay. And, um... Like, don't do what I'm thinking of. But he's, he's quite kinky. And you guys would imagine that he's not ginger. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. He's not kindred? Um, you would know this. He is a ghoul. But he went through... Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna... Tr- I'm gonna do awe instead of entrancement. Okay. And so you activate awe and... Activate awe. He cannot take his eyes off you. You all think that she is the coolest person right now. <laughs> Jacob, can we can we come inside? I just uh, I would like to drop this off, and I just was we were worried about you. Um, you know, I just, I hadn't seen you in a little while, and you and I need to catch up. And I thought maybe we could watch the news together. Says I, I really would like that, ma'am. I, I really would. I I just don't I don't think right now is a good time. Well, why is that? What's what's going on right now? It's it's just. You know, we're doing house repairs, so it's really, it's not in good condition for company. What kind of repairs? Oh, just, you know, old houses. You you have to upkeep them a little mm-hmm. bit. Every now and then you got to replace the wood, make sure there's no termites. Fresh paint. Fresh paint, yeah. How much stuff space like is that. there between Jacob and the door? Mm-hmm. Uh, Jacob's back is very okay. much against it. Okay. Is it closed, closed? It is closed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, Jacob, uh, I haven't heard from Tilly in a little while. Can you, can you tell me what's, what's going on with her? Oh, she's fine. She's just, she's busy with the house, you know? Yeah, I, I wasn't able to get her on the phone. Uh, do you think if I called her right now, that I would be able to reach her? Uh, pro- probably not. She doesn't really have her, her phone on her right now. Oh. Uh- Oh, that's it's, really rare. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just give her a call and, and see. And, he and maybe... checks his watch. He's like, "Oh, it's uh, it's midnight. Um, you guys should, you guys should probably, you guys should probably head out. We've got, we've got night crew coming in. Um, might, might be good for for you guys to take off. Night crew? What? Why is that? Why, why do you have people working? She, she likes there? to supervise. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a call. Uh, you, um, you can certainly try. Mm. So I try to, di- I dial her number. Okay. 
I try to call her again. It rings and rings. Does anybody rings. hear the ringing? That's that's more the question. Okay, Titan sends it up again. You cannot hear the phone ringing. She's yeah. not here. And it goes straight to voicemail. Okay, okay so it could be turned off. Hi, Tilly. Um, please give me a call when you get a chance. Thanks so much. You see, she... We also get real bad signal out here. It's... I'm gonna... I really gotta get the, the Nosferatu on that. I think I'm gonna try to use Mesmerize on Jacob. Yeah, yeah. Mesmerize. Um, so, uh, which I believe is a rouse check? I believe so. Ooh. Right. Uh... So for a rouse check, you'll roll one, one red die. Fail. Fail. So you do get hungrier. Mm -hmm. So your hunger goes up one. Mm -hmm. You feel a little churn in the mm -hmm. pit of your stomach. That's all right. He's not really doing it for me. All right. You can still do the thing, though. So I, yeah. uh, I kind of just elbow past Melly and just go, Jacob. Yes, yeah. ma'am. You've got the package in your hand. And here we are on your porch, and you're not even offering us a drink. You are going to bring us inside and offer us some refreshment. Yes, ma'am. I, I made a, a batch of wine. I, you probably like that. And he, you can see he's kind of, off put by himself in the mm -hmm. moment, but he opens the door and does invite you all in and lead you straight to the kitchen. I'll mm -hmm. slip inside. And as you guys are walking in, you see a few work trucks pull up outside and some men in very unhousework attire mm -hmm. come out. Black suits, mm -hmm. white shirts, black mm -hmm. ties. I'm gonna cut away from the kitchen to the uh like one of the one of the living rooms that offshoots from the hallway. Okay. Gonna, I'm gonna sit and uh, hold my uh, little sharp ring near my finger in case I need to try something. Okay. And you see the men in suits kind of scatter themselves throughout the lawn, and they proceed to just stand perfectly still, facing various directions, and just stand out on the lawn. Do they have uh, surveillances? Yes. Mm. No, it's just... Tell me about the kitchen I'm in. <laughs> so the kitchen that you're in, it's still traditional style, but mm -hmm. very updated. Steel appliances, mm -hmm. um, large fridge, but it's very sparsely filled mm -hmm. for obvious reasons, but you can tell that there's a little corner for Jacob and a few of his groceries, a small fruit pot mm -hmm. and things. Um, and as you guys look around and you look down, mm -hmm. suspiciously the entire floor of this house, for everywhere that you've walked, is the exact same three by three white tiles. You would imagine that's normal for a kitchen, but maybe not for a foyer mm -hmm. or a hallway or, or a living dining room. room or a living room. Mm. I imagine these are easy to clean. What is, ma'am? Uh, the tiles. Oh, they those. look so practical. Miss Tilly likes them. She, she's a fan. Oh. Does she have these all around the house, Jacob? Uh, yeah, yes, ma'am. She, uh, she thinks they're very nice. Uh -huh. And he, and he opens the fridge and he kind of stops for a second, cocks his head to the side and turns around and goes, I'm sorry, who, who are the rest of you? I know you. You wouldn't like anything from the fridge, would you? No, thank you. Uh, what, what about your friend? Uh, Jacob, these are my friends. And uh, they also wanted to speak with Tilly. It's, it's a matter of great importance. Oh, okay, so y'all are kindred. Just gonna say it, sure. Yeah, that's... This is a safe place, that's fine. Yeah. Just gonna look out the window from the living room area at the people. Yeah. The agents have not moved. Hmm. Mm. This is so cozy, Jacob. Uh, now, are the fellas outside coming in at any point to do the work? 
Oh, um, I imagine at, at some point they'll come in and do the work. Jacob, you're looking a little scared here. Oh, no, it's it's mm. fine. It's fine. It's just a lot of house repairs. I'm kind of a creature of habit. I, I'm not a big fan of, oh. of tons of change. <laughs> no, no. Is there a lot of change, Jacob? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you could call it that. Mm. Mm-hmm. I feel like y'all weren't here for a package. Well, Jacob, to be perfectly honest, we weren't. And uh, I'm glad that we were able to give you your package because it was two birds with one stone. Mm-hmm. But I appreciate your candor, but I do not appreciate your boldness. I, I understand. I really do. Mm-hmm. Um, I would really like to know where Tilly is, and it's getting to a point where um, so would other people that have a lot of power and uh, I'm gonna really need you to tell me where she is mm. and I want to activate Gaunt. Ah. And so as you're talking to him your face gets supernaturally intense and mm. terrifying and Jacob stiffens his back. He's used to this trick but he is still intimidated by it nonetheless. Mm-hmm. And he goes, I, I want to help you. I really do. But there's, there's things that you don't understand, and it is not my place to make you understand. And as his voice is rising and rising, you hear an echo from down the hall. Hey, shit! Fuck! I'm immediately going to go up and walk towards it, because I'm in the living room. And Jacob sees you out of the corner of his eye and says, no, no, no! I will uh, corner him, still using my donk. And he stiffens up back in his fridge he goes you should not be walking around somebody's house where you don't live I know I will make no amends Jacob. and I'll continue down the hallway okay and as you walk down the hallway the white tiles continue mm-hmm. and continue they're pretty much everywhere mm-hmm. and you see a small door down the furthest hall mm-hmm. just barely cracked open I'll walk to that door and with some politeness I will okay. on the door frame and Aaron and Thomasina, are you with him or? I think I'm sticking in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, Thomasina and I are definitely in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. stick where the knife blocks are. Nice. <laughs> I will head down the hallway as well. Okay, so you knock on the door, and a voice just asks when he goes, "Jacob, I, I need you to bring me some paint thinner. Is I messed up real bad." Aaron, could you go get some paint thinner from Jacob, please? You know what? I can do that. I still, I am still holding the package, but in front of Jacob, <laughs> keeping him there. He's much looking taller really than angry. Oh, he is so, so age. much taller than I am. But I'm like, and, and uh, be insistent. He, I can do that. Um, and I'll tap on the back of. I'll slip. Sorry, Millie. Um, I'll ask Jacob. Can you get uh, paint thinner, real quick. I uh um. And he looks back at Mel and just oh. Yeah. Uh, it's um, the the cabinet in the hallway cool, cool. it's it's on the it's in a bucket and i'll slip back behind Melly. <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just sitting in a chair somewhere in the kitchen just enjoying the show <laughs> if you did if you could have wine you'd be sitting there with a glass of wine like, <laughs> that's none of my business <laughs> you know and so you make your way to the closet you okay. find a pretty hefty five gallon bucket okay. and proceed to lug it Ooh. down the hallway so and you make careful you say his house is incredibly fa- yeah. playable yeah, yeah. Yes. So then I'll just push the door open gently. And, and as you push in. open the door, mm-hmm. you see what probably in this house's heyday was a conservatory. Mm-hmm. And sitting in the middle of the floor in a light blue dress with braided haphazardly brown hair is a woman sitting Indian style. And the tiles across the floor, about two thirds of this room, have small little intricate paintings on every single tile. God bless. And and she's just intent fussing at this one tile. She goes, Jacob, please tell me you brought the paint thinner. Please. I, me- I messed up. And we'll make our way gently over to, to her and mm-hmm. put the paint thinner down next to her. And she goes, thank, thank you, dear. Thank you. You're welcome. And as you look down, you see she has knocked over mm-hmm. a small bottle of paint and there is 
blue paint splattered about two tiles that were already painted and one tile that seemed to be halfway painted. Okay. You're absolutely welcome. And she sits up real quick and she flips around and goes, You're not Jacob! Who, who are you two? How'd you get in my house? Miss Harris, pleasure to meet you. I'm Anton. I am a familiar of the court. Well, what are you doing here? Nobody's supposed to be in here. We're, we're doing repairs. And you know what? We brought paint dinner. Can I help? No, no, you can't help. Only Jacob can help. Mm-hmm. What? I need you to leave. I need you to leave right now. I don't know how you got past my yard workers. We will leave very briefly, but Miss Harris, the other primogen are very concerned about you. They asked us to come and check on you to make sure that you were okay. Nobody can reach you. And her face falls with her cheek. Are they mad at me? I don't think they're mad at you. Oh no, they're mad at me. They're mad at me. Miss Harris, Tilly, and she and she stands up and starts pacing about the room, kind of footprint trailing mm-hmm. the blue paint that she spilled mm-hmm. around. T- just Tilly, if I may, I, I don't want you to track more paint. Oh, oh no, I'm messing it up worse. Oh, Aaron, I'm gonna need Jacob. I need you all to leave. I need you to leave right now. Tilly, I hear that. Tilly, yeah. my friend Aaron here, he cleans up crime scenes, immaculate. No, I need you to leave! I hear that, and I drop Dot, leave Jacob, run inside, so that she sees me. Okay. I carefully walk, I don't, I don't... As she sees you, she just, her face lights up. Yes. Like a child on Christmas, and she runs around and grabs your hand. Yes. Mel, Mel, I I messed up my pants real bad, and and now there's these strangers here, and I need them to leave, and I need you to leave. Oh, Tilly, we know, you know what? Nobody's supposed to know I'm here. Well, I will tell you what about the messed up paintings... It's just avant-garde. No, Look at no, it. It's they avant-garde. Got it. It's no, fine. they're ugly. They got it. No, they're beautiful. I they're it. I gotta use the paint better. I gotta fix it. I gotta repaint these two. And I'll have tracked it everywhere. And nobody can be here until the floor is done. I've taken a couple of the... I've taken at least like one of the knives from the block to actually just follow Mel upstairs. Mm-hmm. And then just like... Because now everyone's up here and something's going on. But I'm <laughs> not over now. <laughs> um... So I come up behind you. If I see that knife, I'm going to tell you to leave. Or I will tell you to put it away before she sees it because she will freak out. And I will just kind of... (laughs) (laughs) I'm still holding her hands. She says, I I, I really... I just need you all to leave. Nobody can see the house like this. It's not in proper condition. Chili, we we will absolutely... Will you follow us out into the porch? No, no, I I have to finish the house. So you got to leave. Everyone can come see me again when the house is finished. I didn't even want this stupid job. But I gotta have this house in proper condition. Tell me, what job did you not want? This one. Painting? This stupid primitive job. And water. And nobody else but me. I gotta be the one to do it. So please leave. I want this house to be nice. It's gotta be nice for all the other. For all the other. All the other Macavians. They need a place to go. They need a home. I. I, I gotta finish this home for them. Could we assist you? No, you're not Malkavian. You can't do it. But what if we were able to find some more Malkavian? Well, our home's not ready for them. Well, I'm, I'm assuming we couldn't do it, you know, immediately. So there would be time for you to finish your home. Maybe. Maybe. I'm, I'm certain that more of your children are out there. You, you think so? I'm certain. I'm certain of it. Well, I want to make a nice home for them, so I, I hope you'll understand. I need you to leave, and I need Absolutely. you to not tell anybody that you saw me. Absolutely, we will. Now that we know that you are okay, could you perhaps do us a favor? I don't owe you nothing. You don't owe me anything. It's not a, not a favor, a, a human-type favor. Could you just let Falcon know that you are okay? You don't have to tell her. such a busybody. I don't. You, you don't have to tell her what you're doing or she where you are. She's mad at me. She's mad at me. Tilly, she's not mad. She's not mad at you. Oh, she's truthfully she's mad at me. not mad at you. No, she's not. I think she's mad. You know, if anybody would tell you, I would, and if, she's not. If she were mad at you, she would be here. Mm. That's probably true. I think. Instead, she sent us to check on me because she cares. That's probably true. Okay. You don't have to tell her what you're doing. You don't have to tell her where you are. All you have to do is tell her, friends checked on me. I'm okay. Okay. And that will make her happy, us happy. We leave you alone. We help you out however you need. Okay. Which I'll, I'll maybe do that. 
Where's Jacob? Is he still downstairs? I don't know if he followed me. Yeah, he didn't. He's in the kitchen like... (laughs) 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 He's in the kitchen taking a breath. (laughs) I tell you, it would mean the absolute world to us. Because everybody just wants to make sure that you are doing okay. Okay. As long as they're not mad. If you tell them that you're okay, nobody will be mad. I guarantee. You promise? Do you want us to send Jacob back up here? Yes, please. Make a line or two. Got it. As far as I'm aware, I'm not lying. Okay. Mel, (laughs) would you ask her about the people outside? Yeah. Tilly. Yes? I... I worry about there being strangers here. Could you tell me about the gentleman outside? Oh, those aren't strangers. Those are my boys. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do they do for you? They guard the house, and they look quite scary. And they act, They look they do. excellent. They absolutely they're, they're do. Are they your children, or are they like Jacob? No, they're my gardeners. Your gardeners? I bought them nice, fancy suits so that they'd look scary when they're out there. They are doing a good job, huh? That is yes, some your, serious topiary. Your garden is beautiful. Yeah. Thank you very much. On your way out, walk through the roses. They're quite nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. But and, we, and Tilly, if you if you need us, pick up more painting or something, help Jacob out, you let us know. Okay. You contact Falcon, she contact Mel, contact us, we help you out. Okay. Okay. I, I'd like that, yes. Absolute pleasure to meet you. No. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use Cat's Grace to get downstairs backwards with this knife behind me so she doesn't freak out. <laughs> and I am going to stay behind while everybody else is. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to stay behind with her. Y'all are leaving to bring Jacob upstairs, is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to wait with her before Jacob gets there. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron, come up, come down. <laughs> All right, and Jacob does cool. eventually come back in. And he just glares at you as and he I... walks by and he, <laughs> he kneels down beside her and he starts taking the paint thinner and a rag and starts wiping it up with her and just patting her back. And I, I, I come in front of him carefully not to startle him. I'm very sorry. Just doing my job. Just get, get out. Okay. Get out right now. Tilly, it was great to see you. It was so good to see you. You should come by sometime. I'll make a pie. I would love that. And could you just make sure to let Falcon know that you're all right? Of course. Of course. I, if you think she won't get mad, then I'll do it. What if I were to let her know that you're okay? Would that be okay? I would like that even better. <laughs> Can I do that while I'm here with you right now? Oh, no. You should leave first. You can tell her you saw me and that I'm okay. <coughs> All right, I'll do that. Thank you. Tilly, it's beautiful. The house looks great. And I'll, I'll make sure to send you an invitation when it's done. I would love that. It's going to take me uh, probably about uh, 45 years, um, but I'll make sure to let you know when it's done. I will be waiting with bated breath. Thank you. And I exit. I'm downstairs in the kitchen, and I can't, I, I think I asked Aaron, all right, so Jacob got here mm. without a trail. We just missed him at Little Five. I'm confused. I I can't think that something is still right about this. It feels strange. You should not be asking me about any magic whatsoever. No. <laughs> it, uh, it feels strange, I will say, but... And he is here. I did not see anything strange about him. Right. I'm in the hallway on the way down. Or I'm in the stairwell. Everybody else is already downstairs. Jacob's up there with her. Everybody else is exiting. I'm in the stairwell. I go ahead and text Falcon. Okay. And I say to her, um, I have located the very special Groupon package you were looking for. Full service spa treatment. Uh, in Marietta, uh, would you like me to book it for you? Question mark. Okay. Uh, response comes back almost immediately. Um, that says, thank you so much. Um, my computer's acting weird. Can you come take a look at it and I'll buy it once it's fixed. 
and I respond in the affirmative. Okay. Do I understand what that means? Yes. You understand that that means to meet her. Okay. To talk about it. And that would be at in Kenny's Alley again? Yes. That's where we always meet, even though yes. she doesn't say Kenny's Alley? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. So we will pause and jump to Cyrus. All right. So um, he makes his way to uh, his home, um, which is in Decatur, mm-hmm. uh, a small little two-story house. Um, he parks in the driveway. Um in, goes inside. There's absolutely no furniture in here whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Um, he walks straight into the kitchen, um, uncovers the only piece in here, which is a rug, lifts up the uh, trap door that leads into the cellar, um, goes down, um, flips on um, the single pull light. Um, as he does, um, he looks to see if his package has been delivered. Yes. Um, He picks it up, sets it on a small table um, as the lights turn on and you see the various weapons and whatnot um, hanging on the wall. Uh, And he goes over to a map of the entire metro Atlanta area that has several little pins in it. Um, He picks one out, he puts it at um, uh, Ragorama, and then he picks up another one of the same color and puts it in Marietta at the address that is Tilly's house. Mm -hmm. Um, As he opens up the package, um, he pulls out the first thing as he can, looks at the map. Um, he picks it up and just kind of inhales uh, as he brings the heart to his lips and takes a bite. Um, as he then pulls up the single vial and looks at it as he then walks over uh, to a uh, digital safe as he punches it in, opens it, and sits it with the other vials that are in there. Mm-hmm. As he continues to stare at the map of the various pens. And I think that sounds like a great place for us to end for tonight. So thank you all so much for joining us, and we will see you next week.